This morning. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome back. So exciting. Been, the smell's been emanating from this kitchen for the last half an hour. <laughs> nice work. Finally, time for some cookery. <laughs> Fueling Britain's mornings with This Morning Food, sponsored by Quaker Oats. Yes, we are joined by Clodagh in the kitchen. Okay, We're very look. excited about this because it smells delicious. What are you making for us? It smells us? delicious. I'm making a Spanish chicken rice dish, which is a one and done. Yes. It's spicy. It's got, like, um, chorizo in it, olives in it, peculiar peppers, chicken, rice. I would say something. It. What? It's got everything in it. It's got everything, everything in it. If you are a little bit hungover today after Valentine's... Yes. ..or any day, this is your dish. <laughs> it's so, so basically, comforting. you're hungover, so you're what? cooking it. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I... <laughs> did you have a lovely Valentine's Day? I did have a lovely Valentine's Day. What did, did you, you get guys? up to? Yeah, I did. I, I was... Do you know what I spent my Valentine's with? Where? Yeah. The Queen. I know. It's I was been... having a chat with Camilla last night. Me and Camilla were talking about dogs, me doing, you know, for the love Giles of dogs. Giles uh, yeah. uh, invited last night, me to a lovely sort of recital reading last night. Oh, I thought you were mostly. joking. No, I wasn't no, joking. the Queen was there. And then Giles grabbed me and pulled me over. Next thing I know, I'm talking to Camilla. Just me and Camilla no having a little chat. Also, Giles, Giles totally undersold it. So, just in classic yeah. Giles way, he went... He says it's casual. Would you like to come down? It's just a couple of decent friends. It'd be a lovely night. And you get there, and everywhere Stephen you look, Fry. like, wall to wall, yeah, like, day. proper it heavy. No, no. He, was at, he was at a no really hotel. posh hotel. Oh, it was my a, God. It was lovely. incredible. That's okay. how I spent my Valentine's. OK, so now I need to cook you a nice okay. warming supper yeah. after your big night. So I've got chicken breast on here. The skin is still on, because I love the skin of yes. chicken breast. It gives you your flavour. It gives the flavour. I've taken the bone out. But you could use chicken um, pies instead if you want to, which have lovely flavour. Yes. I've browned them up for about two or three minutes on each side. You want to seal them in. They're not cooked. That, but not cooked. So you take them out and then you add, if you need a little bit more olive oil, you can add a little bit more olive oil in. And then we're going to make the base of this dish, which is onion. So the onion goes in. So you've oh, got I onion. Love this. Yeah. yeah, onion and then chorizo. What kind of heat are we looking at there? Is, you, is... Underneath it. Yeah. Um, like medium. Okay. Yeah, medium heat. So the chorizo is all of, when you put the chorizo in with the onion, mm -hmm. all of the oils from the chorizo start to come out. Is that good so, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get like the smoked paprika, you get like the chili, you get all those beautiful oils. And then I've got some crushed garlic. And then I'm going to pop in, try might as well pop in the olives next, ah, just in yeah, case yeah. I forget them. <laughs> 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 and then I'll just stir all these around. And what you want to do is kind of slightly caramelize oh, yeah. up the onions. And you can see here, all of, see already, the onions are getting a little bit kind of kind of orangey and golden yeah. in colour. Mm. That's from the chorizo. You see? So you want every it's like making a sofrito. You want everything, which is the base of you know, spaghetti bolognese, is you want every bit of flavour to get wrapped yeah. into the onions. Okay, so that's that. And then next then I'm putting in the rice. I am using paella rice. Yeah. But you could use basmati rice if you just had regular, you know, rice at home. Don't put it in now. I'll tell you when to put it in in a second. If it's basmati. If it's basmati. Okay, but this, this goes one in from the goes in now because we're going to toast it's it up a little rice bit. Similar to risotto rice. Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um, salt and then pepper and then smoked paprika. Not all of this, just a little teaspoon. Um, and then the last time I blew your mouth off with flavour. No, it was lovely. <laughs> Still, it was lovely. And then these are piquillo peppers, which are Ooh. kind of sweeter peppers. If you can't get your hands on them, you could just use a regular red pepper. Roast it up first if you can, or else really thinly slice Do it. these come in a jar? They come in a jar, okay. yeah. OK. And they're gorgeous. Like, I'm definitely a hoarder when I go away. You know when you go away yes. on holidays to Spain or France or wherever? I go to the supermarkets, get these jars and bring them home. Second, yeah, me too. Yeah. Did you, did you do that as well? Put you always go to the supermarket and put something in the suitcase. Totally. Yeah. yeah that's that's always my favourite favorite thing to do, go abroad and look at the supermarket. Yeah. Love, I love, oh my God, I love the supermarket. Every country. 100%. <laughs> and the pharmacies. Yeah, and a pharmacy. I don't do the pharmacies. Do you know? Oh, it's no. just as good. Is it? Do you like American ones? Oh, oh yeah, no. American, oh, I mean, American so pharmacies good. are incredible. You literally could get anything. Anything. <laughs> you walk out with like Advil and half a rotisserie chicken in American pharmacy. No. And a scuba <laughs> diving suit. OK, so I'm slightly toasting up the rice here, OK? So yeah. the rice is getting all toasted. And the reason why I'm doing that 
is so that the rice absorbs all the flavours of the chorizo, the red pepper, the garlic, the onion, which is now caramelising, the olives. So you've got this is the base. Yeah. So this, this might sound like a silly question, but I, when you chop in onions, how big should the onions be when you put them in different dishes? So why why are those big? Why are those sort of like larger slices rather well, than the smaller ones? Thin, well, they're thinly sliced, but yeah. they're long wisps, yeah. so that they'll caramelise down and then. Because we're going to be cooking them down quite a bit, they uh -huh. caramelise and they just get silky all the way gotcha. through it. And they're yummy and they're quite a part, like when you taste in a second, they're quite a part of the dish. Mm -hmm. So then the next thing you want to do then is we pop in a little bit of lemon juice as well. And then we pop in chicken stock. So you pop in the chicken stock and this is why how it's an, a one and done because it cooks up all the rice. And that's how it's going to cook down now, isn't it? Exactly. So if you were using basmati rice, mm -hmm. regular rice, what you would do is you'd put in the rice now once the liquid Got has it, yeah. gone in. Because if you did it when I did it with the paella rice, it would stick to the bottom of the pan. Right. Um, and then we pop the yeah, chicken back in like that. One, two, three, four. And you can make this in the morning there and then go. just reheat it then. Godspeed, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you pop it like that and then you cover it. <laughs> and then it's like 20, go 25 minutes. Go and do your work. Watch a bit of TV. Go and do your read a book. Work. Yeah, exactly. All that kind of stuff. And then when it comes up, it looks a little bit like this. So oh, are you dishing us some up? I'm going to dish you oh, some up. So some bit of chicken. Okay. And it's all in one. You know, like it's... You put about 10 minutes work into it, let it cook for 25 minutes, and then you don't have to think about anything else to serve it with. I love your keenness. But well, this one's for you, Derma. Thank you, Alison right? This one's for you. 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 There you go, sir. Thanks, sugar. Sugar. Enjoy. Thanks, sir. OK, and then we're here. Alison, yours is on the way. Oh, I'll have a small portion. That's enough for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Are you joining oh, us little, as well? Oh, a little bit of flat leaf parsley on the top. Oh, it looks lovely. Like, like a flat leaf parsley. A little bit of flat leaf parsley. Have you got a shot of that dish? Look at that. Oh, Delicious. Wow. Look at that. It's good, isn't it? Oh, well, yes. Have a munch. What do you think? Gloria. Look at that. Sensational. Oh, isn't it? Sensational. I'm showing you every it's little spicy. bit of it. It's spicy, but it's not hot. Let's get involved. I've missed right. you, Cloda. We oh. have missed you. Where have you been? Come on, you did tell me about your Valentine's Day. Was it mm. good? Was it lovely? It was lovely. I cooked dinner. Did you? I had two friends over, so there's four of us. Yeah. Oh. A little did a bit of... What are those kind of nights? Oysters from Ireland. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what are those kind of nights? What does that mean? <laughs> no to whatever he's saying. We had Irish oysters, and then we had Place à and then I made tiramisu, and it was really lovely. McKenna. Oh. You were... Oh. Gem. That's delicious. Thank isn't you it? so it? much. Yeah, You're lovely. Thanks, Definitely try that at home. It's lovely. For details of Cloda's recipe, check out our free this morning. Oh, it's just got a nice bit of heat to it as well. Mm. Mm. Time to find out what the loose women are talking about.